These are Amazon river dolphins, the boto, beloved and graceful aquatic mammals entwined in regional folklore, even utilized in boto therapy sessions for kids with special needs, featured in a CGTN story a few years ago. However, this week these creatures made headlines for a much sadder reason, a sudden spike in mortality. So far we have had a minimum count of 120 carcasses, including pink dolphins and tukushis, with the majority, around 80%, being pink dolphins. The dead dolphins were discovered in Lake Tefe amid the worst drought ever recorded in the region, which has reduced water levels and increased water temperatures. On the day the first carcasses were found, researchers say the water was nearly 39 degrees Celsius, more than 10 degrees above the usual temperature for this time of year. Our investigations have not ceased. We are conducting a series of analysis on water quality in the deceased animals to understand the true causes of these deaths. That's why the Mamirawara Institute, along with several partner institutions like ECMBU and others, is here trying to address this disaster in the region. The Amazon River dolphin is already considered an endangered species, largely due to environmental pollution and habitat loss. Researchers fear a changing climate could provide a final fatal blow. There are two types of dolphins that are dying at the moment, the tukushi and the pink dolphin. Both are considered threatened species. Their populations are severely reduced and have been declining in recent years. So this kind of event is catastrophic for these populations. Yes, it could lead to the extinction of dolphins and many other species. It's very possible. The Amazon dolphins are dying. Understanding exactly why this is happening is the task at hand for scientists. But stopping it from happening may be a challenge for all humankind. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.